Let's try a simple looking multiple choice question. To my students who are taking exams soon, treat this as a short training, not just on solving math problems, but more importantly, on how to read questions carefully. Here's the question. Which of the following quantities is larger? Option A. The hypotenuse of a right angled triangle in which two of the sides are 2 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Option B. The hypotenuse of a right angled triangle in which two of the sides are 6 centimeters and 7 centimeters. And your choices are option A, option B, option C. They are the same, or option D, undetermined. Before we dive into the solution, I actually posted this question as a poll, and here are the results from 44 responses. 0% chose option A, 18% chose option B, 66% believe that the two quantities are the same, and only 16% selected undetermined, which, spoiler alert, is actually the correct answer. This is a perfect example of how a seemingly straightforward math question can lead to misinterpretation if we don't read carefully. At first glance, many students will assume that the two given sides are the legs of the triangle. If we go with that assumption, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's try it. For option A, if the two legs are two and nine, then the hypotenuse is the square root of two squared plus nine squared. That is square root of four plus 81, which equals square root of 85. For option B, if the legs are six and seven, then the hypotenuse is the square root of 6 squared plus 7 squared. That is, square root of 36 plus 49, which also equals square root of 85. So far, it looks like both triangles have the same hypotenuse, square root of 85, which is approximately 9.22. But here's the key. The question only tells us two of the sides. It does not say that these are the two legs. One of the given sides could actually be the hypotenuse itself. Let's take a closer look. In option A, the sides are two and nine. Since nine is longer, it could be the hypotenuse. If that's the case, then one leg is two, and we can find the other leg using the reverse of the Pythagorean theorem. We subtract two squared from nine squared, 81 minus four, which gives 77. So the other leg would be square root of 77, and the hypotenuse is just nine. So depending on how we interpret the sides, the hypotenuse in option A is either square root of 85 or just 9. Now for option B, the two sides are 6 and 7. Here, 7 is the longer one, so it might be the hypotenuse. So again, depending on how we interpret it, the hypotenuse in option B is either square root of 85 or just 7. To summarize, option A gives us either square root of 85 or just 9. Or option B gives us either square root of 85 or 7. Since we don't know exactly which two sides are being described, we cannot determine the exact hypotenuse in either case. That means the correct answer is option D, undetermined. And here's a tip for all students. Sometimes the difficulty in a question isn't in the calculation. It's in how carefully you read the words. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next elegant math prompt.